74 is here coming up next. Of course, you can let your opinions be known. Tweet your opinions. Always hashtag USA Wrestling. You can hashtag Takedown Radio. Whatever you want to do, make sure you get your tweets out there to all your friends. Let them know where you're at. Dude, maybe you can check in on Facebook, whatever. Both wrestlers being worn about the hands to the face. Ankbar pretty much being on the defensive here. Here comes another passivity call. That is his, that is his third. That will put him again on the shot clock. Last time he was on the shot clock, he did score. Let's see if he is able to repeat history again. Kind of questionable. They're calling a fourth pass it even though the shot clock's on. Matt Chairman's going to have to explain something to him. Matt official and judge had to be explained that there's actually a 30 second clock on, so calling past city wasn't needed. About five seconds remaining in the shot clock. Ooh, Sham Shimdinov getting a little mad there. Does receive a point for the 30 second shot clock. Akbar not scoring. 55 seconds remaining in the match. Nice, nice counter attack by Akbar. Taking Chamsutinov to his back. Scores four points, I believe. 30 seconds remaining in the period. Looking to see what the points that were awarded. Four, four points were awarded for that. It was not a takedown. It was a feet to back. Akbar is going to get some blood time. Unlimited blood time. As long as he's able to continue, they'll clean up the blood. Mongolian coach came out to wipe off the blood, but that's not protocol. He was sent back to the corner. Head trainer, Jim Porter, comes out, cleans up the mess. He's a pro at this. Jem Sutanov coming on strong. Short time here. 15 seconds remaining about. Akbar holding on, defending well. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Akbar is going to come away with a 6-1 victory. That's going to give Mongolia a 3-1 lead. An impressive lead here at the World Cup. Looking to get an upset. Coming up next, 74 kilos. Wrestling in the red for Mongolia will be Kuryevjav Unerbat. 
In the blue for Russia, that will be Ahmed Gadzi Magomedov. Unabat, who was third in the 2008 Junior World Championships. He was an Olympian in 2012 and took the silver medal in the 2014 Grand Prix of Paris, which took place a couple months ago. Gaji Megomedov of Russia, silver medalist at the 2014 Ivan Yurigan Grand Prix, champion at the Copa Brazil tournament, and was champion at the Ramzan Kadyrov Cup. Very important match here for Russia. One whistle, hey, Ellen, here we go. Wrestling is underway at 74 kilos. Unarbat and Gaji Megomedov. 74 kilos. A little bit too aggressive there on Unarbat's part. A little warm about slapping the head. Godzi Megomedov with a takedown. And team Russia the Russian goes up early 2 0. Figure four in the leg. Try to get a gut arm trap um, gut wrench going on. Looks like he's a complaining official about finger grabbing. As mentioned before, that is illegal. Takedown for Gaji Megomedov. Godzi Mago made of is up 4 0 over Unabart. No improvement on the part here. Godzi Mago made of called up. Takedown for Unabat. Cut the lead in half. Now down two to four. About a minute left in the first period. pretty hard there. I thought he might have had two hands on it. It's not legal. A little bit more than 20 seconds left. See if Unabark could close the lead down to a tie or one point. See if Gaji Megomedov could increase his lead. Eight seconds remaining. And we'll go into the break. Gaji Megomedov leading by a score of four to two. from 
this 2014 Freestyle World Cups will be televised in the United States on a tape delayed basis on the Universal Sports Network on Monday, March 24th. From Back to center here. PM Eastern Time. Again, that's Universal Sports Network. Take down for Godzi Megomedov. Back up by four points. Now six to two. Looking for a gut wrench. Unabot grabs the leg, blocks the gut wrench attempt. Will hold the lead down to four points. Take down Unabart of Mongolia. Unarbar back on a single leg. Could he switch it up to a double? Can he get the right leverage without getting tilted? Godzi Megomedov looking for defensive points here. Unarbar hanging on. Oh, he's close to putting himself into a near side cradle position. Now Godzi Megomedo is now on the single leg. Unabar trying to fight from giving up a point. It will be a push out point. Seven to four is now the lead for Godzi Megomedo of Russia in the blue. Unabar looking for a push out here. And there's the push out. Scores five to seven. Still favoring Godzi Megomedov of Russia. Points are going back and forth, but Godzi Megomedov still continues to lead. Less than a minute to go. Nice setup attempt there by Unarbat, but nice defense by Godzi Megomedov. Looking to go up by three and instead of two. Maybe four if he can get the takedown here. There's the takedown. Now he's up nine to five. 35 seconds remaining. A newer bot has got to come on strong here. Back on the legs, Unur Bot. Got to make him out. Just going to make sure he doesn't get put to his back from his feet. That would be devastating for Russia. 20 seconds remaining. A little more than five seconds here to go. He tried for the feet to the back. Not happening. Godzi Megomedov is going to get two more. One point at the end, maybe. If the time did not run out. Shows 11 to 5 on the score clock. Valiant effort by Uner Bayer, But Godzi Megomedov is going to cut that team deficit to 4 to 2. Mongolia still leading 4 to 2. But Russia in a lot better position than they were not too long ago.